Welcome everybody, welcome to the next uh, video tutorial in the How To Draw series. I've had a few bits of mail delivered and we're going to be taking a request today. Uh, I've had this crown sent in uh, by Tilly. Thank you very much Tilly. I don't know if she wants me to be a, a king or a queen or a princess or something, but I'll wear this uh, through the whole episode. Thank you very much for that Tilly. Uh, we had a really cool drawing sent in uh, by Dan somebody, uh, somebody named Daniel. I'm not sure if it's a kid or an adult, but uh, can have a look at these sort of good detail here on the go. Uh, I think he's drawn Emmett Bukowski, he's obviously uh, looked at one of my uh, tutorial videos. Uh, he's done all these different segments, he's, uh, there must be some custard here coming from the sky. He's going to get the piece of resistance, I think the sun's fell out the sky, it's created this lightning bolt. That's why he's just about to put his umbrella up and that, but it's a pretty cool drawing. Thanks for that Dan, that's really good, thank you. And uh, we've also had this, uh, we've had a letter sent to us. Uh, it's really good. Um, always good to get some viewer requests. I don't know what this letter is going to be, but whatever it is, we'll do the uh, request in here. Well, I assume it's a request because we've been getting a lot of requests recently. Uh, so it's here, it's off a nice, nice handwritten letter. It's pretty good. We put in, um, can you draw that Dartman from Stoke? Shooting must be in Phil Taylor because obviously he's um, you know, 17 times world champion and everything. So it says, uh, from Lauren, age 30, Newcastle, thank you. That's the uh, bit of surprise, some artwork in there. Uh, I like turtles. So just to uh, take that one from out of the, the main camera. And, uh, put that one in there, it's I like turtles. So thank you for the artwork, we really appreciate it. Thank you very much. It's uh, always good to get what people are into, liking turtles and everything. But we're going to go into the first step now. We're going to draw Phil Taylor, and we're going to do perspective. How to draw. We're going to do a perspective, we're going to show you the vanishing point. Normally you do this in a pencil, but we're going to do it in a pen today. Uh, so it just shows a little bit, but shows up a bit better on the paper. Uh, put it a little bit off centre, don't put it sort of um, exactly centre. And then uh, literally just get your ruler and sort of uh, make it go to the corners of the paper. So you sort of, like I say, normally this would be done in pencil but sort of get it so it like literally just goes off to the edge of the edge of the paper to the corners. Nice uh, strong lines just so it shows up um, on camera. Like I say you normally do this in pencil but doing it in pen today just for just for the tutorial purposes. And like I say all four corners of the uh, page just uh, so it's um, even and everything. I think it nice and uh, strong lines. And there you go, there's your perspective lines. This is step two on how to draw Phil Taylor. Uh, first, we're going to just do a rough outline of the actual pub, and you know, believe it or not, and this is true, uh, the actual name of the pub is the Saga Makers Bottom Knocker, and it's an actual based on a job that used to be in the pottery industry, uh, which is Stoke on Trent, which is where Phil Taylor's from. I'm just going to literally just use these sort of vanishing point lines to sort of get a rough outline of where the actual sort of wall will be, where the dartboard is. And like I say, you can literally use them to just get like where it will be. I'm sort of going to just sort of put a little bit of the far wall in. I'm going to put Phil Taylor there. And this is going to make that line a little bit stronger. And then just sort of put the hockey here, like the raised hockey. Uh, put the dartboard nice and big on here so you can get lots of detail in there later. And I'll put the uh, title at the top here because that's where you know, we're going to get, like put the light in the middle there. So we're going to fill that in better later. Uh, put the name of the pub here. We can go over to the next side. Have as if it's a piece of wood there, and like the sign just sort of being behind the light there. Uh, put sort of get the bullseye there, then have all the uh, segments of all the uh, numbers for the dartboard, obviously you know, get the, uh, the right number of segments in there. i say this is just like the rough outline at first, then get your two circles so you can put the um, uh, doubles and trebles in there, uh, that there, put the numbers in in a second. And then we're literally just going to do a very rough outline here of um, Phil Taylor. Um, I've like sort of, um, have his sort of arm, sort of just going like this, sort of put the shoulder here, 
and then his arm going like that. Uh, we'll put his tattoo in in a bit because that should be uh, you know, quite a good feature. So sort of just have uh, his arm going there and a bit there and have sort of his waistline there. And then just start to do a rough sort of put his head here and that just a rough outline with his hair and everything. And then we'll sort of just, because he had it, we're going to draw him like when he had a moustache, so sort of draw his moustache, use a bit handlebar, if I really sort of remember right. Uh, put his eyes in, we'll put his eyes in later. And uh, like I say, just get the rest of his arm here, where we can put the uh, tattoo in. And actually, if you've got a dart handy, this is like, you know, not essential, but if you've got a dart here, we'll literally just put the dart there and uh, it might be easier to do this with a pen actually uh, but just sort of go along the um, the flight in the stem then this will give a really good perspective of what the actual uh, dart is like a little bit tricky one so to just use it to, like I say this is just the um, the outline again put the uh, finer details in, in a bit Actually, this dart has actually been used in the Saga Maker's bottom locker. I've actually used that in there on the dartboard on the uh, far wall. So he's got the uh, the bar sort of up further this way. And uh, yeah, we've used the pen there. So uh, I'll put the numbers actually in with this pen in a second. I use your trusty N860 uh, Pentel marker. Uh, just put his legs in there. And uh, we'll uh, put the details in and the colours in a second. This is uh, stage three. This is just getting the colour into it and some of the final details really. Uh, uh, one thing, put, just put a bit of a bulb in here. I think that'll, that'll really work. And then get a little bit more hair if I sort of remember correctly. It seems funny because this is one of the few people that in the drawing teeth that I've actually sort of met. Uh, it's funny because like, you know, with sort of being in Stoke, Staffordshire, you know, you sometimes see them at like, you know, in the pottery centre or at like a computer market or something like that. Uh, stuff. Uh, yeah, one thing he's famous for is his uh, power tattoo. Um, oh yeah, of course the eyebrows just sort of uh, put the eyebrows in there. Um, his power tattoo is blue and it's almost like electricity. So it's a little bit jagged. So sort of, um, so I can have it sort of like that. Right, like all that electricity in there. Then um, I can actually sort of use this pen. I'll put the um, stem of the uh, dark, it's like the metal sort of there. And then this is like a more brighter metal because it's the actual sort of sharp bit of the dark. Um, so we don't go over the power tattoo then I'll just put that in there because that was like the bluest one. So I could, oh actually you can use this pen to put the actual numbers on the dartboard because um, with them sort of being like um, a smaller area, it's gonna be sort of hard to sort of uh, get that sort of you know without messing it up that kind of thing. So it's kinda of like you know just do that like that and just make sure we get the numbers right. And uh, get the uh, green and red and colour the uh, colour different segments in. It's in alternating sort of sections. Get the uh, a red I guess as well. Uh, actually as well we can get like yellow for the, from the light coming out of uh, the light. Get an orange and a yellow actually. Like I'll be sort of first bit of the light coming out sort of orange. Get some nice sort of coming out like that. And then get like as it's more diffused get uh, lots of yellow lines getting across like that.
And then um, one thing you can do as well, you can put the lines on the hockey. That'll be um, sort of, you know, get the marks. Uh, sort of, you have like the uh, uh, the three marks here. And then you can do sort of a bit of sort of artistic license with what colour with colours these shirt is and that. One of my favourite colours is green, so I'll go with a, a green shirt. And uh, maybe uh, some sort of brown trousers. Mm. Sort of pant leg in there, and then sort of, yeah, sort of, you know, just sort of do the uh, uh sort of just do his feet a little bit as well. Uh, just, uh, put that in with uh, the marker there, and then also, what we like, sort of, I guess because we're having a rule of you, can maybe even just sort of. You know, go round him and sort of just fill in like, uh, you know, like the wall behind him, like sort of thing. So it's kind of gives that more perspective. Like I say, you don't go over the main sort of drawing. And like I say, if this was, um, if normally the vanishing point lines were on there, and you could sort of, uh, you know, you could sort of try and sort of, you know, cover them up in that a little bit. Just like I say, just make sure they. Uh, lines on the wall there, but um, that was a viewer request uh, for Phil, Phil Taylor, for Lauren, for anybody who's got some more requests. Uh, I think, uh, you know, some people want Minecraft uh, drawings and things like that, but we'll see how it goes. And yeah, there's Stoke on Trent's Phil the Power Taylor. Tune in next time, folks.